Good morning, church. Welcome to Worship Online. We're glad that you are in your living room singing with us. God is worthy of our worship. We're going to start with a song that uh, was actually some lyrics that were found by Fanny Crosby and then put to music. It's called God Evermore.
you sing this hymn with us? Our God is holy and he is worthy. Revelation chapter 4. In the center and around the throne were four living beings, each covered with eyes, front and back. The first of these living things was like a lion. The second was like an ox. The third had a human face. And the fourth was like an eagle in flight. Each of these living beings had six wings, and their wings were covered all over with eyes, inside and out. Day after day, and night after night, they keep on saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, the one who always was, who is, and who is still to come. Whenever the living beings give glory and honor and thanks to the one sitting on the throne, the one who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall down and worship the one sitting on the throne, the one who lives forever and ever. And they lay their crowns before the throne and say, You are worthy, O Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power For you created all things, and they exist because you created what you pleased. All I have is Christ. I once was lost in darkest night. Yet thought I knew the way, the sin that promised joy and life had led me to the grave. I had no hope that you would own a rebel to your will, and if you had not loved me first, I would I ran my help 
about race indifferent to the cost you looked upon my helpless state and led me to the cross and i beheld god's love displayed you suffered in my place you bore the Father, what hope you have given us. I am so grateful, Lord God, that you, that you reign on high, that you made plans for us in our helpless state. Thank you, God, for your holiness and help us, God, to be holy as you are holy. Father, would you direct us this week to be your hands and feet in the lives of those around us? Help us, Lord God, to understand what it means to be the church who's not in a building. You have plugged us in in places all over this city and surrounding areas, and you have plans for us, and you have people who need reaching who may never walk into our church building even when we resume. Please help us to constantly be thinking that and waiting on you to give us instruction on that, ready to move, ready to minister. We love you, Lord God, and may we please you this week by our actions and our attitudes and our thoughts. In Jesus' holy name, amen.